the water into the compartment. Open the door and I'll turn on the pump. Open it! One day, a storm broke over the forest, and the trees whispered together menacingly, and instantly, it became as dark as if here were gathered all the nights that had passed since the forest was born. And the little people walked on under the big trees amid the roar of the storm, and as they walked, the giant trees creaked sang a sinister song, and the lightning flashed above the treetops, throwing a cold blue light over the forest for a brief instant, disappearing as quickly as it had appeared, and striking terror into the hearts of the people.
We had met before. I could always feel it approaching and would know exactly when it would happen. The entire crew would go up top and wait. At first, we wouldn't see it, but could hear its retinue approach. And then, just when we had waited so long that we thought it wasn't coming, it would make its entrance. It would appear suddenly, majestically, emerging out of the mist. Rising to the applause of the angry waves, dropping shards of its emerald mantle, it would slide alongside us. Even when passing at a respectful distance, the entire space between us would seem to be frozen solid, and every one of us would yearn to breathe in the air of this ancient glacier. Just then, the entire ship would be deadly calm. The crew would stay perfectly still and watch the giant disappear. And then, the spell broken, everyone would return to their routine, loud and happy as ever. But I would stay on the bridge, silently thanking it for letting us pass.